with so many great TV shows on the various networks on cable or satellite and streaming services including Netflix and many others, it can be difficult to find the time to watch them all. So we've come up with a list of the top 10 TV shows that you can watch right now. To qualify, the series must be scripted and be current, having broadcast new episodes within the last couple of years. Instead of using the scores from TV critics, I will count these down in order based on which shows we enjoyed the best. With that out of the way, let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 10 is Preacher. This bizarre AMC show, based on a comic book series, is about a one-time outlaw, Jesse Custer, who returns home to a small community in Texas to take over his dad's church. After acquiring an unconventional power, he sets off on a journey with his hell-raising ex-girlfriend and a hard-drinking Irish vampire to find God. The second season, filmed in New Orleans, which is a perfect setting for the show, introduces new interesting characters while the group continues to search for answers. For many, this is a polarizing show. You'll either love it or hate it. Two seasons have already aired. The third season premiered on June 24th, 2018. Coming in at number nine is Legion. Created for the FX network, this is another twisted show that you'll either love or hate. It's arguably one of the best Marvel series. It's not afraid of taking risks or pushing boundaries. Legion is about an X-Men character named David Haller. Diagnosed with schizophrenia and having spent time in various psychiatric hospitals, he is confronted with the possibility that there might be more to him than his mental illness and eventually discovers that his mind is infected by a parasitic mutant. Legion just may be the strangest show on TV. Two seasons have already aired. FX has renewed the series for a third season. Speaking of strange, coming in at number eight is Stranger Things. The sci-fi horror Netflix original series is set in a fictional town in Indiana during the 1980s. The series starts out by focusing on the disappearance of a young boy named Will. While searching for Will, supernatural events are occurring around the town, including the appearance of a psychokinetic girl named Eleven, who helps in the search. The second season is set a year after the first and deals with the consequences that still linger. Both seasons are available on Netflix. Stranger Things has been renewed for a third season expected to be released sometime in 2019. In at number seven is Mindhunter. This crime drama is a Netflix original series which takes place in the year of 1977 during the early days of criminal psychology and criminal profiling at the FBI. It revolves around two FBI agents and a psychologist who work for the Bureau's Behavioral Science Unit. They interview imprisoned serial killers to understand how they think with the hope of applying this knowledge to solve ongoing cases. Surprisingly, it's really not a violent show. It's more chatter than splatter, with well-written dialogue that's similar in style to Silence of the Lambs. Season one of Mindhunter is available now. Netflix has renewed it for a second season. No release date has been announced yet. The Americans, coming in at number six, is a spy thriller created for the FX network. It's about two Russian spies named Philip and Elizabeth Jennings in an arranged marriage who are posing as Americans in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. during the Cold War. Their neighbor, Stan Beeman, who is a major character in the series, just happens to be an FBI agent working in counterintelligence. If you're looking for a show to binge watch, there are six seasons available. It premiered in 2013 and just had their season finale in May of 2018. The Breaking Bad prequel spinoff, Better Call Saul, takes the number five spot. This crime drama on AMC is about a con man turned small-time lawyer named Jimmy McGill. The series begins six years prior to the events of Breaking Bad, showing his transformation into his persona of Saul Goodman. Not to give away any spoilers, but there are post-Breaking Bad moments included in the show as well. If you're a fan of the aforementioned show, you should be watching Better Call Saul. Even if you're not, it's a great show on its own. The first season gets off to a rocky start, but finds its groove in seasons two and three, there are even some episodes in the second and third season that match the quality level of that other show. Three seasons have already been broadcast. Better Call Saul returns on AMC for season four in August of 2018. Coming in at number four is Game of Thrones. This medieval fantasy series appearing on HBO focuses on the various power struggles to gain control of the Iron Throne and fictional Seven Kingdoms of Westeros. This adult drama has complex storytelling with dark themes. While the pacing can be slow at times, 
the acting is fantastic, and the visuals are amazing. Seven seasons have already aired. Game of Thrones will return in 2019, which will be its eighth and final season. With so many excellent TV shows to choose from, it was difficult for us to reduce this list to just 10. So before we move on to the top three, here are some other great shows that we also enjoyed that may be worth your time to watch. There's more than 20 here, so I'll go through these quickly in alphabetical order. American Gods, Atlanta, Big Little Lies, Billions, Counterpart, Goliath, Halt and Catch Fire, Humans, Manhunt Unabomber, Mr. Robot, Narcos, Ozark, Ray Donovan, Sneaky Pete, Taboo, The Crown, The Deuce, The Expanse, The Handmaid's Tale, The Man in the High Castle, and the reboot of Twin Peaks. Now for the top three, and coming in at number three is Fargo. Also appearing on the FX network, this dark comedy crime drama anthology series is inspired by the 1996 Coen Brothers film of the same name. Each season is set in a different time period, with a different story, with mostly new characters and cast. The only similarities between each season is that these stories all take place in the same region in the United States, primarily in Minnesota and North Dakota. If you enjoy bizarre stories with odd twists and quirky characters, Fargo is the show for you. There's a total of three seasons that have already aired, and if you're a fan of Fargo, it's going to be a while till the next season is released. Filming for the fourth season isn't expected to start until the fall of 2019, with a release sometime in the year 2020. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Peaky Blinders. This British crime drama series airs its new episodes first on BBC Two in the UK and can be found on Netflix in other regions including the United States. The series follows the notorious Peaky Blinders gang in England during the aftermath of World War I. Their leader, Thomas Shelby, is an ambitious crime boss set on moving up in the world no matter the cost. This is one of those rare shows that just seems to get better with each new season. Its production values are first rate with excellent writing, acting, and cinematography. The bottom line is that it's just a fun show to watch. All four seasons of Peaky Blinders are available right now. Season five will be broadcast sometime in 2019. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Westworld. Appearing on HBO, the sci-fi Western drama takes place in a technologically advanced Wild West themed amusement park populated by Android hosts, which allow their visitors to live out their fantasies. In addition to its stunning visuals, the writing and acting are superb. Now for my rant. If you're one of those people that just couldn't get into this show, here are some viewing tips. Westworld requires your full attention, so put your phone away. Any phone calls or messages can wait, and your social media account will survive if you don't post anything for an hour. Advise your viewing partners to be quiet and not to talk to you while you're watching the show and try to avoid any other distractions. Westworld has many layers with more being added with each episode. There are multiple timelines, which can be confusing, especially during the first season. But if you're able to follow these simple tips, you'll be rewarded with one of the most enjoyable experiences to ever appear on your television screen. The first season aired in 2016, with the second being broadcast in 2018. HBO recently announced that Westworld will be back for a third season. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Of all the current TV shows, what is your favorite series? Let us know about it in the comments.